up, YouTube? Topaz Jay's back for another mixtape review, and this one is to that Nipsey Hussle Slossin' Boy 2. And what this is, is a celebration of his birthday, man. He decided to go ahead and piece together all of his Marathon Monday tracks and put it all into a mixtape plus one extra track. And overall, I'm happy for that because I did miss out on a good selection of these tracks that he released, even though, like, my favorite songs off this happen to be the ones that I've already heard from the jump. In which I'm not including Ocean Views in the field because I've already made videos for those. But I definitely like that 100 where he's ultimately talking about the lifestyle of having success and a little bit of money and stuff and everything that goes along with it. I like that Picture Me Rolling track even though it was only just one verse on there man, but he's ultimately talking about what's most important to him and that's ultimately family and coming home to your children and not getting caught up in the streets and such man. Definitely enjoyed that. Wish it could have been a bit long. But yet my favorite song off this whole project is that On The Floor in which this is him ultimately talking about coming up from nothing and he's including Cuzzy Capone man for those of you who follow my series and such of underground mixtapes that make it into the best mixtape of the month he was a member of my best mixtapes of the month I think it was late last year and he also included somebody that made this list as well but he made it like years ago in G Perico to keep it 100 with you there's only one act out there man that I feel as though definitely needed to be on here off of the selections that I've had on my best mixtape list man and it's TK all the way like him and Nipsey Hussle would come together and create something phenomenal. See but here's my thing about this man because it was all a strategic strategy like he had this mixtape a long time ago he just decided to drop each individual track on a weekly basis. Now ultimately my question is did that help him here? Now I can't answer that question I honestly don't know but I feel as though with him dropping music so consistently I think a good portion of people really felt as though they could pass on certain tracks man and catch the next ones next week. But ultimately, I'm not mad at the grind, man. He definitely put in that work, and I'm hoping that it helped him out in the long run. Overall, I give this project a 6.5 out of 10. But this concludes today's review, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Our Life Beats before we take some of your questions. I said when I once said that there's no such thing as an instant classic. See, here's the thing about that, brother. When you apply the stamp classic to it, man, and you do it on the first day of the release, man, you can't take that back. How many times have you listened to a project and say, oh, this is super dope. I really like this. This is the best project to happen this year so far. Then come back to it months later like, eh, it's just I. Even though there have been projects in the past that people have listened to one time and guessed right that it would end up being a classic but you have to make sure that it's a classic before you say such a thing man and that's why you got to go ahead and let it breathe for quite some time man and then come back to it and see if it still hits you like it once did and Devo asks have I ever given a project a 10 out of 10 and no I've never given a project a 10 out of 10 straight out the gates because again that's a classic what I do is I give projects a 9 out of 10 with the potential of being a 10 out of 10 and then I come back to it months later like okay I I officially will say that this was a 10 out of 10 and and the last project and the only project that I did that for this year was that Ritz top of the line. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.